one, two, three. Good morning. How are you? I'm Kill the Bit. I'm back with another edition of Let's Play Classic featuring Grand Theft Auto Online. And this time I'm going to be debuting a brand new DLC for GTA Online that just was released today. No matter what part of the world you're on. And it's called The Bottom Dollar Bounties. Yeah, that's a mouthful. Anyway, I get to play Bounty Hunter in this new DLC. So, if you are not familiar with the 9 to 5 Outlaw Does Gaming YouTube and Twitch channel, I do live streams of classic games. And this one is going to be a GTA Online debut premiere of the founding bottom bound. There I go again. Bottom dollar bounties. So grab a snack, grab a drink, grab what you need. It's time for Let's Play Classic Featuring. Grand Theft Auto Online, the bottom dollar bounties. Episode one, here we go. First, I'm gonna get in a private lobby. Cause I'm not that trusting. <laughs> Just need to make some background adjustments. Now, usually I'm going to get a call from a character in the GTA universe. In this case, it's going to be from Mod Eccles pitching me the opportunity. Make some fine tuning here. This might seem embarrassing, but hey, it is what it is. Just the chat. Here we go. All right. We Wait, might that's be ready to move on this mind. thing. If you want the work, you'll get a knock on your door any minute. Switching the game screen. Now it's back to chat. I'm actually excited about this DLC. I had to basically fuck a guy to get you that audition. Well, you know the freeway's fucked at this hour. What is wrong with you? <laughs> I'll text the casting director. You fucking owe me big. Okay, I think that'll fucking be it for now. Actors. Let's get on with the game. That's her. This is Maud Eccles calling from K9 Renditions, the very best bounty hunting business out of Sandy Shores. Hi, I got a proposition for you, and I'll keep it short and sweet. I'm looking to hand over the reins. If you catch my drift and pass the baton to a hungry bounty hunter looking to spread their wings. That's where you come in. I'm gonna need somebody to open another office for me. <laughs> this is a ripe opportunity. 
for a young, cash rich bounty hunter like yourself to run their very own bail enforcement agency. Now, I'll supply some of the staff and expertise. You just pick your favorite property off May's bank and pull the trigger. Okay, that's the introduction. There's also what's called dispatch work, which can be accessed by pressing the right shift joystick, right joystick when driving a law enforcement vehicle. I don't like this one here. This was from the previous DLC, which of course was the Cluck and Bell Farm Raid. So, what I gotta do is go on the internet, go to Maze Bank, and I'm gonna pick a location. Now, it is said that when you pick a location for a GTA Online business, what if it's worth the most money or not? It may or may not be in the right location. May not be in a feasible location. Which was proven in the salvage, you know, the, the uh, what was it called? The uh, DLC with Yusuf Amir where you have the salvage yard, the, uh, the chop shop. That's what it was, the chop shop DLC. That even though it was the prop, the most the property cost the most money to purchase it was not in a good location surprisingly enough so I'm gonna just bite the bullet and choose let's say in fact I'm actually gonna spend since I'm gonna spread this stream for about three hours anyway for each episode I'm gonna take the time to read the uh, the copy the edgy and snarky copy in GTA courtesy of Rockstar Games so anyway, let's read this one. Del Perro. An exquisite piece of prime Del Perro real estate. Once we had the trust fund kid posing as a tantru as a tantra guru removed for breaking the conditions of his bail, and the pop-up yoga shala dismantled, the space scrubbed up beautifully. There is a lingering smell of Palo Santo and cultural appropriation but that's a small pie uh, that's a small price to pay for such a unique real estate opportunity buy from 2.35 next one let's go up to the top and this is like the last place a person would want to buy a business but most of the activity typically occurs in the city depending on the nature of the of the criminal activity Palito Bay. Some people find business in Palito Bay to be isolating and outdated, but for those people are lacking vision. Take this property, for example. A lick of paint, a slick new sign, and you'll be making bank like it's late 2007. Yeah, it's dated. Here's the next one. Downtown Vinewood. You're probably wondering how can we afford to list such a competitive price in downtown Vinewood? And that's understandable, but our website's strict character limit means we just don't have the space to explain. Instead, rest assured when we say that this retail property is a golden opportunity to be creative, optimistic, forward thinking, and wholly ignorant of the recent past. Buy from 2.6 million, and these are introductory prices. So, when you get when you deep dive into the amenities, the optional amenities, and the recommended ones, it's gonna be a lot more than that. That's how Rockstar gets you. Here we have. Let's go here. Mission Row. The striking city center property has been this striking city center property has been flooded with interest since its first listing. Please bear with us while we respond to questions. FAQs include What's that smell? Who's that Jimmy in the window? And was this a crack den? To which we say 
Wouldn't Maze Bank foreclosures, four-time tip them and flip them award winners really sell you a crack then? Buy from 2.3 million. What else we got? So these are in five locations. And then finally we've got Davis. Which of course is, I guess, Compton IRL. Let me know in the chat. Our market analysis inform us that this prime piece of real estate has fabulous potential as a bail enforcement office and we could not agree more. With the Davis community's strong reputation for the sudden and final resolution of long-standing conflicts, your activities are going to be some of the least prosecutable on the block. <laughs> Buy from two point million, two million dollars. So anyway, this is what you get. These are the options. The first <clears throat> is cheap, but usually it's a bland color scheme. So the next one is criminal patterns. So it's $125,000 and courtroom teak. I'm going to go with criminal patterns. Okay. Now let's select agents. Too busy defending yourself in court to catch criminals all day. Then hire skilled enforcement agents to carry out some work on the side. Give the responsibility. Take the profit. So you can have one agent. You can actually have up to two agents, so why not? I'll take two agents. Personal quarters. Justice cannot sleep. Luckily, you're a bounty hunter, so getting some shut eye and changing your underwear is a okay. Two hundred ninety-five thousand. And I'm not going to need a gun locker. Let's be honest. Who the hell needs a gun locker anyway? Armor plating. You know what your the class needs. Armor plating. Because rule number one in the bounty hunter's code of conduct is every life is precious if their bounty is high enough. So, uh, the final is four million forty-five thousand dollars so let's do it done set waypoint and then I'll get the call back from mod hey again real glad you decided to take the leap on that bail office <coughs> swing by when you get a second okay just got a couple things to go over with you Oh, and I want to introduce you to someone you'll be working with. See you soon. Mm-hmm. I bet. No, we're supposed to have a new gun. Help. If I'm correct, if my memory says correctly, I'm supposed to get a new weapon. <coughs> Gotta hydrate. Quite a selection, huh? The gun's probably get up here later <clears throat> that's the beauty of rockstar is that they're pretty much hush hush even when it comes to most of their Melee dlc's like hell with that thing okay now let's get on over to the station hey see you at the bar good to Shut see the you fuck up. watch what happens totally here Worst cop ever. There's Vincent on the map. He's got the weirdest mockable last name ever. Effenberger. This is 
is Officer Effenberger. We've been getting reports of illicit activity, and for some reason the LSPD aren't dispatching units to intercept. Feels like an opportunity. Are you available? It says here, press the right to accept dispatch work. I'm gonna do that later. Right now I got other, Dismissed. other business to take care of. So with the dispatch work, you're doing Vigilante. As familiar with the previous GTA series, you're doing Vigilante work. So with this, do you see for one avatar, I'm out five million. I mean, I'm out four million at least. But it's okay. We're also gonna t take a look at the new vehicles that have been drip fed since this DLC was released today. Now, I believe Australia gets it early and then I think the United Kingdom because of their time zones. Yep. Back in the hood. Don't fucking tell me. License sex shop. Bottom dollar bell enforcement. I couldn't believe it. Sounds horrible. Let's go take a look. How you doing, honey? You the new owner? I'm Maud. I know you can't tell, but I'm thrilled to meet you. Takes a savvy investor to jump on an opportunity like this one. The price reflects our top tier personnel. Uh, just uh, give me a second here. Now, you don't look much like a bail enforcement agent, but who the hell does? <laughs> One should never judge a bounty hunter by their cover, no matter how weird or scrappy or downright psychotic. <laughs> now, I gotta wrap up here, but my daughter Jeanette should be around here somewhere. Jeanette! Get out here and meet the new owner. They're here? She's very excited to start running an office all by herself. She'll take care of all the sourcing and paperwork for you since I won't be around. Oh, fudge. Think of her as your very large, very loud shadow. Hey there, hi. Jeanette Eccles, junior assistant bounty hunter at your service at Chopping at the Bit. Mama says I'm supposed to help you with whatever you need so I can learn about how, you know, all this works. And, well, who better learn from than somebody with a resume like yours? I reckon you got more bounties on your head than anybody in L.S. Oh, uh, Mama, you're using your ball. Well, yep, working on it. Gonna take it home with me, too, so I can keep it up while I watch Underbelly of Paradise. <laughs> of you. Take him back there, honey, and make him feel at home. There's a sale over at Dawn's Country, so Mama's gonna head out in a few, then you'll be on your own. Welcome to your new bottom dollar bail enforcement office. Jeanette will take good care of you. Okay, so all this back here is yours, baby. Okay, first things first. This is a bounty hunting gig. No, bail enforcement, because, you know, if you kill them, it's a whole thing, right? I mean, we got procedures for stuff like that, because Mama's new boyfriend works down at the morgue. <laughs> I definitely, definitely want to try to bring him back alive, because then I got to deal with all the blood and dead body parts in the van, and I'm sure you don't <laughs> mind, but it's kind of a hygiene issue, and <sighs> get you a new one of those. Anyway, they pay more for the live ones, and you like money, don't you? <laughs> yep, so, so without question, it's to take right. them alive. Let me show you how we do all this. Okay, I'm leaving. Training wheels are officially off, Jeanette. Make me proud. I'll see you at home, Ma. Bacon, mac, and cheese later, right? I'm on it. Uh, don't forget your ball. 
No, honey. She deserves a nice retirement. I'm just glad she's finally letting me handle this stuff on my own. So anyway, I'm a real visual learner myself. I need pictures and whatnot to really get stuff, you know? And as your official assistant, I will always have a little slideshow uploaded right there on your computer of all your targets. All you gotta do is choose your target. Oh, and uh... I got you. <laughs> After that, you just go get them and bring them back here and take them to that holding cell up front. That's it. Easy. Now, let's seal the deal. Come on. We're a team, okay? I'll take this. And uh, if you need anything else, I got it. Thank you for that introduction, Jeanette. Register as a boss to access the bail enforcement system. But first, let's go take a tour of the office, shall we? Y'all right? Jeanette's here. And these are my bail enforcement officers, my hired hands. Here yeah, we looks like the holding cells. See you later. <laughs> That's how you exit. This garage is used to store and modify the bail enforcement transporter. You can also request it for it to be delivered to your location managed through via manage vehicle section of the interaction menu. I, I salvaged the you can probably own or if you if I had a Looks like it's already armored. So I don't, it doesn't look like I have to do anything custom. Oh wait, let me get inside. Okay, here we go. Respray, armor plating. Let's start with armor plating. Free. Oh, it's already armor plated, so let's just respray. Let's get some personality to this vehicle. You can actually go with a 1970s, early 80s uh, color. Oh, that sticks out, being bright. Oh, these colors are too loud. Lime green, come on. Yeah, I'll stick with the color. Meanwhile, I'll bring my squad car in. Yeah, this is a good location. I'm so sorry. It was an honest mistake. Whoa! Lie to people! Shut up. If anything, we'll make some modifications to this vehicle. Not. Let's get back to this one. Okay. 
So for those of you just joining me, this is the new GTA Online Bottom Dollar Bounties DLC where you get to play Bounty Hunter. Hi there. And that's Jeanette, your new uh, manager, co-worker. Meanwhile, let's go get some snacks. Now, I did purchase this property. Oh, yeah, and I get the drink on the job. At least when I'm not doing a bounty. Take all. Get the snacks. Just get some drinky drink. Hello there, whiskey. You know, Bob Markman on a dating site. She thought he was catfishing because the whole morgue thing was just too good to be true. Your bail enforcement agents can be assigned work to earn additional income that will be stored. Well, hey, let's put them to work. They look like they could be twins. It says here. Sure. Go bring in some bad guys. How's it going? Hmm. Sure. Yeah, so you don't have to sit on your ass. Go to work. Bring me some skip tracers. Chop chop. Meanwhile, let's register as the CEO. All right, so you got four fugitives in front of you and what they're worth. The real nasty ones are worth more money, but the little shits are fewer and further between. <laughs> Ideally, we gotta hand them over alive for the full payout, but mistakes happen, you know? At least Murph, Ma's boyfriend at the morgue, can handle the, uh, messier ones. <laughs> we'll still get paid, but it'll be a cut to the money, so best keep them wriggling. <laughs> I'll update this database regularly with what I know, so just log on in and see who we got out there. <laughs> The selection of bounty targets changes once per hour, and the most wanted target shown in red changes daily. Select any one to begin. Okay, let's just get the feet wet. You know what? Let's go for let's go for the big one. But alive. Alright, that one's a weird one. She's a serious businesswoman, a CEO. So obviously, she dodges everything that comes her way. <laughs> Quarterly reviews, taxes, conspiracy to murder charges. <laughs> and now, she's jump bail by being, get this, dead. <laughs> Honestly, people will try anything. <laughs> so she faked her death. Secure most wanted target. Yes, indeedy. Nothing I can't handle. Let's go bring in some ex extra people. Okay, thank you for coming in. I guess you'll do. So let's go do this. Oh, wait. Most wanted. 
Whitney. Our target is Grace Whitney, CEO, billionaire, criminal, and dead woman, according to every clickbait article you can find about her online. What's crazy is she skipped bail right before the tragic fatal accident and took her life. Skeptical? No shit. Let's investigate. Don't take anybody. Give this one more minute before I start off, even if I had to go in alone myself. Yep, looks like I'm going alone with this one. So let's fire it up. Okay, here we go. At least I'm not alone on this one. As I said before, I'm really digging this DLC. Just like I did with the Cluck and Bell farm raid. jump in on this one since my boyfriend, Murph, is a mortician and friends with the crew over at St. Fiacre. So, even though the target's apparently dead, they said something's off about the body that came in. Mm. Janetta 
call in a second to give you the lowdown. But in the meantime, start heading over to the morgue. Go to St. Fiacre Hospital Morgue. Person left. I don't know how about that. This is not even on my friends list anyway. Going inside. You fucking piece of shit! Fuck! Most friend that wants. 
relics in this morgue. Said the body should be in one of the cabinets. No one's ready to prime for cremation. Okay. Time to view the body. Definitely not her. Just take a photo of the body and send it my way. Hope that's good enough. Got it. Well, I don't know who the hell's laying on that slab, but it ain't Grace Whitney. So she obviously faked her death. All right, clear out of there. I'll try and figure out where the real Grace Whitney's hiding. Just get in my way, you're gonna get torched. If the world thinks Whitney's dead, then she's probably pretending to be somebody else. You know, wearing a wig, trying for a fresh start and all that shit. Bet she still looks like a bitch though. Burns, don't it? She's hiding. She probably is not going to have security. For someone who's supposed to keep a low profile and acting under new identity and faking their death. How are they going to have security? Hmm? Exactly. So I wonder... How difficult this is going to be to catch her. I'd go 
through the underground parking lot so nobody sees you coming up. Get this at the ready. since she quote-unquote died, so don't let her fool you. Hey, do you like my new hair? I look like a totally different person, right? Ugh, God, the general population is so stupid. She still doesn't know that the jig is up, so get past the guards, then focus on her. Honestly, I can't believe I didn't think of this sooner. Anybody who goes to prison these days is either too poor or too dumb. An idiot. What the fuck am I doing? No! They found me. Uh oh, she's on the panic alarm. You fucking penis! You just Let's finish this. this. Get in cover! Ah! Down. I don't want to be here! 
cremation. Shithead! Idiot. You fucking penis! You piece of shit! Fuck you! Hmm, I like this already. I thought she was just kidding, but being the nature of my actual profession, I'm still a criminal, even though I'm posing as a bounty hunter or a bail enforcement officer. Eat my shit! I mean, all the money you can get. Fuck off! You fucking loser! You piece of shit! You fucking idiot! You fucking penis! Piece of shit. You fucking loser. You fucking idiot. Go to hell. Where is this dialogue coming from you when I killed shit. everyone? At least on this floor. Oh yeah, she does have armed security in this area. Let me get the fuck out of here! Please don't make me do this! Come on! Man down! Oh, I'm out of fucking bullets! Hang on! Holy shit! Get out! What the fuck am I doing? Anything else of value? Fuck you! Secure her. 
So she's up uh, we get her a skip out of Trying to get an escape helicopter, idiot. obviously. Yeah, I need to reload, so watch out. You motherfucker! Oh, out of body, I'm on the way. You motherfucker! Drop the fire off, now! You piece of shit! Frick! You fucking idiot! Fuck you! Reloading! You fucking piece of shit! Good suppressive fire. Shit. 
You fucking idiot! Ah! Stop right there! Get some cover! Are you really yeah. I'm armed! You motherfucker! Oh, shoot at her. Shoot her head, not her head. I need to reload. <laughs> she died her head. Get down. Remember, she's a businesswoman. The first thing she's gonna do is try and negotiate. Oh, I know there will be no negotiations. Oh, she chopped her hair and dyed it. In you go, sweetie. High risk, high now reward. Just show for Mrs. Whitney over to the bail office. I'm sure she'll love. I can't believe you just shot me. Are you some kind of barbarian? Nope, just a bail enforcement officer or a bounty hunter. I hope your mediocre bounty hunting business has a good legal team because you've never been sued like I'm about to sue you. You'll hmm. all spend the rest of your days fighting for scraps at Bolingbroke. Oh, shut up. Save it for the judge. Especially the fact that you faked your death. Can we make sure I'm not housed with the uh, general uh, population? <laughs> You're just going to the bail office. You, hey, who knows? You might get off with a plea deal. Yeah, with your conversation, she's going to want to get locked up. I caught you going to Hawker. Hey, man! What's up? Got my first bounty. Out you go, sister. Grace Whitney secured. I know that's not all I get. In you go, sister. I've got your number, asshole. La la la, I'm not listening. Neither am I. I cannot wait to see the headlines. Mrs. Grace Whitney, tennis death baloney. <laughs> the Daily Globe should hire me. Your payment for securing the bounty will be sent to you shortly after they've been processed by Jeanette. Okay, so come back later. Goody. So you're not gonna get the money straight away, so let's celebrate my victory. Of a drink.
Meanwhile, let's fatten my bank account with some small potatoes criminals. Processing. <laughs> okay. Xavier Fremont, LJ Ha, and Cook Kenzie. Let's get Xavier Fremont. That one's a piece of work. Assault, homicide, got told by my contact that he's feisty. You know, the way a rabid bear might be considered feisty. with some thorough researching. But Xavier Freeman's really pissed me off. No family address, no place of residence. All I found is his last location. Not much, but it's a start. Now remember, he's wanted for multiple homicide, among other things, so just, you know, watch yourself. He's worth 40 grand. He's worth 40 large. Now listen, I say this very rarely. CCTV is gonna be your friend today. If you can hack the network, then you can locate the target. All you gotta do is scan the feed with your phone. Now I need to go stop at ammunition on the way. Okay, it's look, it's right up the way. Perfect. I lose this drive pass and I'm there. So works for me. And what also works for me is that if you like the content I'm bringing you, please do me a solid. Why not consider subscribing to the 9 to 5 Outlaw Does Gaming YouTube and Twitch channel, as I'll be putting out additional live streaming gaming content, such as GTA Online and many other games. And if you do feel generous, I do have a Patreon listed in the description in case if you would like to donate to my channel, it will be put to good use. I would greatly appreciate that as well. So he's really up. A good place to hide up is up in Polito Bay. So look at the map. Judging by this distance. Yep, that's that's where he's holed up at. So it's gonna be a long drive, so. Some additional body armor, anyway. You need a receipt for taxes? <laughs> hey, boo. Well, I'm at it. Let's top up my ammo and good stuff. Okay, I'm good. Body armor. Check.
see if I can make some graphical we adjustments down. here. Is it? Ah. Okay, much better. Low end video card is to blame for this. Or it's mid range. What a long time. Guess what? Our agent just bagged a runner. I'm so proud. The paperwork is done and the award's in the safe at bottom dollar. Swing by to collect it sometime. Okay, I got paid for it. I got paid for the first bounty. Woohoo! Cha ching! The bill enforcement agents have just finished their assignment. So that, that money will be added to the safe as well. My cut of the bounty will be added to the safe as well. 
and see what can't wait to see how much I've done. One mile left and I'm there. But it's gonna be a long drive on the way back. After bringing this guy in. <laughs> it's kinda of ironic that in GT Online you're a criminal. But yet, you're trying to do legitimate work. In this case, of all things, a bail enforcement officer. But you're still using criminal tactics in the course of the duty. So it's just a, it's a cover. It's a mask, if you will. Says here, hack the CCTV network to download the feed to your site. See your app. We gotta get out of here. First, we'll park it. I have my nightstick. Total dick. Anyone else want to play? You can't be here. Back up. Your face gives me a bad feeling. Drop it. Let's go. I don't like the look of you. You're shady, you know that? You an ass. Now we can break up the sights here.
We got him. Bingo. Tiger's on the run. This time we're gonna hatch him. This time we're gonna chase him. Get back here, sucker. Let's tackle him. Feels like an episode of Cops. Bad boys, bad boys. Better not sing the whole song because I might get a copyright strike. You're nervous. You skipped on your bail, Xavier. You're coming with me. Off we go. You got our guy? gonna be some resistance. You in deep shit now, gangster? Oh, you're threatening me? Shoot out the window, they can take me down. Seven less than seven miles to get back to the city.
bail enforcement, freeze. Let's get the echo effect. Bail enforcement, freeze. I gotta get this random and knock him off the bike and kill him. Oh, I got something better. Have a sticky Yuki. No, you're not. into the city they should be done with the retreat you're in deep shit now gangster save your threats for the judge bye bye me. Listen, motherfucker, I'm gonna fuck you up.
deep shit now, gangster. Uh -huh. Bye-bye, sucker. All right. Okay. Oh, shit. Timer. Timer. Okay, good. That should be it. Let's go. After this, I'm going to take a quick break. In which I'll get coffee. Listen, motherfucker, I'm gonna fuck you up. Oh, no, you're not. Yeah, it's gonna be hard behind prison bars. Behind. Try doing that through a six foot cell. Six foot padded cell. I would like to see you try. <laughs> What a catch. I have a good mind to watch a reality show about bounty hunters and not, of course, dog. Catching them. Oh, look, both of them are in there. Fool. Yep, got the bail money. Paid from the first one. So she's in there and he's in there. At least you have a partner. Meanwhile, send these guys to work again. How can that CCTV with some sure. IAA level interference? This isn't over, you know. Could you not? Sure. Go to work, boys. Fuck you. La la la. I'm not listening. We're just looking at them. Oh, you two look pitiful, don't you? At least you have each other for the time being. <laughs> you know, Vaughn Murph met on a dating site. She thought he was catfishing because the whole morgue thing was just too good to be true. You all good there? Yeah. Oh, she's cleaning her gun. Yep. Let's celebrate another victory. Ah. Can they? some snacks. I was gonna need some body armor. Let me look at the uh, statements. From Maze Bank.
So obviously he didn't get paid for that one yet. But it's in the safe. Let's go look at the safe. I need to go see her. You got a problem? Ah, shut up. Whoops. <laughs> hey, where's the one to twenty? about the agent. So that money should be coming in. Oh yeah, I need to look at the uh Target has been scared. Where's the money? Oh, wait. Payment of that already been added, supposedly. Meanwhile, let's look at the vehicles. But actually, we'll come back for that. I'm gonna take a break. I'll be back with more Let's Play featuring GTA Online, the bottom dollar bounties right here on the 9 to 5 Outlaw Does Gaming YouTube and Twitch channel. Don't go away. streaming for a while so there's that overloaded the snack drawer damn things jammed again but if you're hungry there's snacks in the bowl You know, Ma says the Eccles family always had bounties in their blood. 
But if you go back far enough, who's hunting and who's hiding starts to get real blurry. <laughs>
grab a beer or something. Check, check, testing, one, two, three. Okay, I'm back on the 9 to 5 Outlaw Does Gaming YouTube and Twitch channel with more Let's Play featuring Grand Theft Auto Online, the Bottom Dollar Bounties DLC Episode 1. Previously, today, at the top of this stream, I had secured two bounties successfully, taking them alive, of course. One worth about 129,000, the other one worth about 40,000. And so far, I have to say I'm loving this DLC. So let's continue on, shall we? This is the 9 to 5 Outlaw Does Gaming YouTube and Twitch channel. Here we go. Now, how do I get paid for that bounty? Said that it cleared. It must take days for the check to clear, I guess. Escrow or whatever. So, the large bounty is once per week. But these other bounties are, I guess, every GTA or our IRL for them to refresh. Meanwhile, let's take this time to actually look at the uh, drip fed content. So let's go first to Legendary Sports, Legendary Motorsports. Part of the bottom dollar bounties, invert, in vitro coquette D1, the Anis Euros X32, the Uber Mach Niobe, Niobe, the Enos Paragon S, and the Bolacan. And visage. Let's read the copy. Coquette D1. Worth 1.5 million large. The first two seater sports car made by Americans for Americans. The Coquette D1 is an iconic as thick stakes, double D's, apple pie, and a lack of worker protections. The perfect vehicle for your delusions of European suavity. Just throw on a half-decent suit and pull up on some tennis-playing housewives in Rockford Hills to feel that sweat, sweet rush of forgetting how utterly forgettable you are. The Euros X32, worth $1.4 million. In the analog icon Annis Euros X32, Shift into reverse and return to the glory days of the 20th century, when beepers were high-tech and foreplay was optional. This V6-powered sports car represents our culture's last grasp on a time before AI came for your job and social media algorithms came for your free will. No catfishing here, just precisely what's advertised, speed, style, a rev heard around the world, and a glorious return to the final moments before everything went to hell. I like this one, too. Niobe, 1.8. It's the 2020s in Los Santos. Of course you can swing both ways, and why should you expect less from your supercar? The Ubermach, the Ubermach Niobe, is here to slip the straight jacket of a binary automotive market with a dose of superfluid hybrid tech. Because who can match the nuances of your sexual identity better than a German car manufacturer? Bottom line, 
The planet is burning and so is your sex drive. So why not at least screw yourself with something that you can that can screw you all in the right places? Enos Paragon S, two million dollars. Experience luxury like you've never seen before. A glove box full of uncut blood diamonds, fresh beluga caviar in the cup holders, and seat warmers that can suck your... Okay, the Enos Paragon S has none of these things, but that's not what's important. What's important is that anyone who sees you driving one will assume it does. So, you only need to ask yourself one thing. Do you want to look like a million bucks? Because if you do, you should probably drive something cheaper. Imani Tech Upgrades available. Agency Vehicle Workshop. Envisage. 2.4 million. Why choose between the warm blankie of nostalgia and the raging techno boner of post-humanist futurism? With the electric retro mashup of the Bolakin Envisage, you don't have to. Experience all the musky sex appeal of the free-loving, bare-backing, hairy-chested 70s with none of the gas crisis, and at the very same time, experience the rain-slick, neon-lit dystopian chic of your future, near-future holographic fantasies, with none of the need to wake up and confront what you've done to the mattress. Imani Tech Upgrades available. Agency Vehicle Workshop. I think I'll buy that vehicle later. Now let's go to Southern San Andreas Superautos.com. The class you'll send me 1500 for 1 $1.2 million. Meet the 2000's Undisputed Best in Show. A champion thoroughbred returning to the market. The Yosemite 1500 is the 20 year old workhorse you could just keep on flogging. Whether it's a stack of bodies or a few barrels of acetone, this is the kind of no questions asked transportation that. <laughs> Let me read that again. Whether if it's a stack of bodies or a few barrels of acetone, this is the kind of no questions asked transport that made Sandy Shores the thriving center of. Laissez-faire entrepreneurship it is today. Okay, so that's that. Now we go to Warstock Cash and Carry. Nothing for elitist travel, which is the, the planes. War stock cash and carry. Okay, here we go. Greenwood Cruiser. Trade price three point six million. Buy it now four point nine million. Complete five dispatch works to unlock the trade price. So we're about to do some dispatch work in a moment. The Greenwood has been on a long road. From your big brother's bucket ass car to undercover car of choice for IAA spooks to the classiest squad car in San Andreas, complete with old school loudspeaker just in case anyone fails to notice your immaculate taste. Dispatch work available. Please note this vehicle can only be modified in properties you own and has a resale value of zero, which means you can't sell it back for money. The Dorado Cruiser, trade price $3.7 million, buy it now for $5 million. At some point in the life of every officer of the LSPD, they've asked themselves the same question. Now I have four call girls in the back seat and six double bags of prescription painkillers in the trunk. Where am I supposed to take a nap? The Dorado Cruiser was, was was specifically designed to answer that question as well as providing some solid off-road performance in case you need to slip past an, a, an IAA dragnet. And now, 
Those highly transferable skills are made available for the first time to the citizens of San Andreas. Dispatch work available. Please note, the vehicle can only be modified in properties you own and has a resale value of zero. Impaler SZ Cruiser. Trade price 3.5 million. Buy it now for 4.7 million. The Impaler SZ was the stock car of choice for fugitives intent on going as fast as possible in a straight line with no regard for collateral damage or civilian casualties. So naturally, the LSPD picked up a fleet of them. And now, thanks to the wonders of auction surplus, a limited run of these models has ended up in the civilian hands once more, giving the pedestrian of Los Santos yet another reason to stay the hell inside. Welcome to the Force. Dispatch work available. Please note, this vehicle can only be modified in properties you own and has a resale value of zero. Since I already got the, uh, already got the Bravado Gauntlet Interceptor, what I would need is I'll probably check with my other avatar to see if I've got the car. I probably do. Since I have two avatars. So, between these three, I probably would go with the, uh, the SUV. But I'm going to do the dispatch missions first before I unlock it. It's not necessarily worth it, in my opinion, to get all of these. If you want to, feel free to knock yourself out. Don't let me stop you. What else we got? I think that's it. Now to continue on. Nightclub money's dwindling. Let's do another. Okay, we got some more here. Sabrina Gray, Serenity Pierce, Hunter Duggan, one of the Duggins, Hunter Duggan. Let's take Serenity Pierce. I heard this one's a passenger princess in a big bad biker gang. But considering the kidnapping charges against her, I got a feeling that whole side saddle damsel aesthetic is just a shitty act. And as always, I'm taking them alive. Pierce's usual hangout. Now, we're only interested in her and her kidnapping and assault charges, but I'd be surprised if she's alone here. It's a clubhouse. You know what clubhouses are? It's where biker gangs go to get high, throw darts, and break each other's arms. And occasionally kill people given the chance. Especially it's people they don't like. Not far from here, this works. 
waiting to see how many doors is the uh, okay at least these are some four door vehicles so we'll, it will make sense to get one of these uh, I'll pick the SUV Go get the reprobate who skipped on her bail. So she's a member of the Lost Motorcycle Club. Search the clubhouse exterior for a destructible power box to disable the security cameras. Being spotted by the camera will, will risk the lost MC calling for reinforcements.
done. All I had to do. Mama Pingas! See if you can dodge this, asshole! Get in cover, pussy! Hey, go screw yourself! Lost MC! Fuck the world! Me oyes? Idiota! Pendejo con sapos, mama pingas. Take oh, cover, geez, asshole. You fucking bonehead. You're a fucking loose nut. You fucking bonehead. You're a fucking ass. The lost forever! You fucking idiot. You're a 
Watch out! Everyone back up! Watch out! You lost, bitch! Oh, I killed her. Oh, shit. Oh, well. Wasn't worth money anyway. So it's okay. Got a little carried away. It wasn't worth money anyway. Off to the morgue. Oh. Trip to the morgue. Natural causes. <laughs> if, uh, if you didn't get her alive, Murph says the morgue's walk-in chiller's a real nice temperature today. <laughs> Look at that, the bounty value just went down terribly. Oh gosh, that's what I get. We're getting too carried away, oh well. Now off to the moor. I shouldn't have taken her I should have taken her alive, but oh well. It is what it is. Looks like she's about to be an organ donor. Why is that chicken? On the slab you go. Bail enforcement just flatlined its first bounty. Mm. First one's always tough to bring in a lot. Oh, finally getting the money. But there's always next time, right? Always. Jeanette said you're a real nice boss, too. Didn't yell at her once. <laughs> Seems like you two got a nice thing going. She finds the bounties, you bring them in. I watch my shows in peace. Thanks again. What are you talking about? I am at the gym. Free. I gotta that run. car's a 
Officer, we're about to get ready for Officer, some I've uncovered work. protected data that details an illegal outfit in operation. I need an officer to intervene. Are you available to attend? Here we go, dispatch work. Copy that. I've sent you the coordinates. Not too far off. Let's do it. I'm glad you're on the case. I've discovered the LSPD are protecting the street. Now there's not a dealer on the street willing to fuck with them. Figured someone with your background would have a vested interest. Just break up whatever's going down and confiscate the goods before they're spread around town. I clean up the streets. You turn the black market into a free market again. That's a profitable partnership. So with this, you don't have to bring anybody in. Just take them out and salvage what can be flipped for profit. Be it drugs or antiques, or valuable antiques. So I'm on the last half hour of the stream, about 20 minutes. I don't think anyone watching this live with me or on replay. I appreciate that. So we got to do a dispatch work and do one more bounty and then end the stream. Clear the road, police business. So dispatch work is similar to that of payphone things. And like the contract, it has no effect on the main storyline of the DLC, in this case, the bottom dollar bounties. They're just lucrative, somewhat lucrative side points. Cover the narcotics from the gang members as evidence for this. So make sure nothing's damaged. It's not damaged the merchandise. First thing we're gonna do. Do it, bitch! 
I don't harm the product. on the house. Burn, motherfucker, burn. And the echo of that Kill you! I'm fucking reloading. Oh, you fucking 
dead. Looks like that's the end of it. So I got to do five of these dispatch work missions for uh, Vincent in order to unlock the trade price for the vehicles. Instead of spending the full price. Gonna do another one. Assignment complete, officer. Money's in the bank. Hey, it's. Let's go back to the uh, bail bonds business. to the last 10 minutes of the show.
I gotta hand it to the bikers of San Andreas. They're a great bunch. Meth stairs and leather vests sure. ain't the easiest look to pull off. Hey! Sure. You all good there? And the cell's empty. Whoops! Yeah. <laughs> yeah, where's that money? Real blurry. Eliminated. <laughs> You heard from Ma lately? She was in the ER last night with a brood coccyx. Now she won't use her bounty ball. <sighs> Because the whole morgue thing was just too good to be true. <laughs> Looks like that's going to do it for this edition of Let's Play Classic featuring Grand Theft Auto Online, the Bottom Dollar Bounties DLC Premiere, Episode 1. Be sure to tune in for Episode 2 tomorrow at the same time from 9 a.m to 12 p.m. Eastern here on the 9 to 5 Outlaw Does Gaming YouTube and Twitch channel. Until then, 
I'm Kill the Bit for the 9 to 5 Outlaw Nuz Gaming YouTube and Twitch channel, and please stay safe.